G'day, how you going? Ian Harris from Australia here, down under. Today I want to do a painting, and I've got a good idea. I did a rainbow zebra a while ago. Different colours, you might remember that one. Well, I want to do the same sort of style, but this time I want to do like a, a beautiful butterfly. So I just found an image on the net, something like this, that we can incorporate the rainbow colours inside this beautiful little butterfly. So what we'll do, We've got our board there. I've had to print that butterfly up just in black and white. It uses less ink, roughly to the size of my canvas. So we'll take this. This is just a black and white one. And we're going to need some carbon paper for this as well, like we did back with the rainbow zebra, okay? So I'm going to take this to the canvas right now. So I've got that taped to the top of my canvas now. That way I can keep pulling it back and putting it on as I need it and it'll be in the same spot. So what we do now, we've got our colour picture, work out our colours we're going to use. So I'm already going to use blacks and greens and bits of yellow, get a bit of a marbly wash in the back and then we'll put, it doesn't have to be the exact colour but I want a rainbow effect. Okay, we've got our um, paint, our lovely our greens and that on the board there, I've got my green. Uh, I've got my yellow green and some black. The green I've got is sap green. So um, well, I'll just wash my knives here and get ready to start painting this rainbow butterfly. Now this canvas I'm using, I've already had an old painting on that and I've painted over again because I want to use the same canvas. It's uh, painted everywhere. Um, so what we'll do, of course I'm using acrylics as always, to get me bored or smashed up, ready to paint. Now I've got some retarder to keep my paints wet so I can drag them. I'm going to whitewash my board now with the retarder in that white paint. So as we can create this green, white, if we can get it glaring and matching and marbling together. So I'll get all this done. Okay, unfortunately in Perth here, it's a very hot day. So what I might, hopefully it doesn't happen, is all that this paint dries out too quick. So we've got our, now, I want a little bit of a, um, let's get some green, because this is going to be a mainly a green background. So we've got my, we've got our picture there, so we'll put all these greens in roughly somewhere. So I've got my, it will help if I wash my brush, otherwise I'll have white and green and it won't be the proper dark green that I need. Okay, now I've got me two brushes. These aren't anything special, these are just from the hardware store, so... I'm going to use one to put the paint on and a dry one to blend it. So we'll get our green back again now. But we'll make sure we're going to put some, what do you call it in there? Some retarder. Otherwise, even the hot of the day is like today, it's going to be very hard to, it's going to be very hard to blend like wheel paints. The good thing about this, once I've done this, I can blow dry it. And um, so, where are we? We want a bit of. Get this on there. Now, you watch what I've done there. I've just done that. I'm going to get my other brush, blend that, just like I normally do with these skies. And now I want to keep some darks in it, but I don't care if it has brush, brushy strokes because that's going to make it look like an artist did the painting. And then I can blend that out to some whiter stuff. But anyway, I'm going to get this green on there for now, okay? Alright, we're just getting this green blended. It's very hot. I'm finding it trouble to get this retarded to work properly because today is 41 here. So anyway, I'm going to put some yellow green in there now. So I'll wipe that brush, wash my other brush that I've been applying the paint on with, got my little, now I'll get 
the um, the green yellow. And sort of. This is a different colour green. Blend that. Oh yeah, this is really. I'm going to try and pick up the pace here. Darks in the corner. Let's quickly blend that and see what we get. Oh my god, this is very. Oh, let's turn it right now. Get a bit over here. This is a dark. Okay, we're getting some yellows and highlights into this here. Just trying to get it to the way we're going to be happy with the background because once I've done this, I can blow dry, being acrylic. And I can start putting the image of the butterfly on there. I just want to see that's. The background, it's not exact to the picture, but you can get an idea what I'm doing, okay? So that's what we're going to create. So I'll just finish this off. Alright, I've pretty much blended the board the way I want it, I'm happy with. I'll dry that and put some. I'll put the purple in there! So I get some purple colours, just like in the picture there, some purpley. Alright, I've got my violet mixed up and I'm going to sort of try and get this in the background, okay? Okay, what I'm doing to do my violet things, I'm using my trusty house sponge again. That way you can get more of a, a blurry background effect, roughly, to some degree. I wonder, I'm just going to try... If I can blend that out with the wetter end, but if not, I won't worry about it. Yeah, it's not too bad. Because it's virtually a um, orchid, I think. The national flower for Thailand. But anyway, we'll do a few more of them down the, the picture, okay? Let's do some more. So, dab it on. Just want a blurry sort of thing in the background. Use my other cleaning and sort of blend it. This is just minor stuff really. Because don't forget it's going to have that stalk that was in the picture. Now we'll get it some more. I've sort of dobbed and marked roughly on the picture where they were. So see that's why I'm using the sponge, it's a lot easier. See now I'm gonna use my other end, you just try and feather it in. If you think you can do it, do it. If not, just leave it the way it was with the sponge. But that's it. We don't all have to be particular and perfect. Anyway, now what I want to do, I've noticed in the picture there are some darker bits, so I'll get a bit of the darker bit and just try and be, because that's what artists do. You know, like that. And then we'll get the other end and blend that in as well. Because don't forget, this is a photo of a butterfly on a stem of an orchid flower. And the focus is on the butterfly itself. So this is all just blurry, out of focus background. Okay, we've pretty much done all that now anyway. So um, we're ready to put the, um, we'll dry that properly. And then I'll carbon 
paper the image of the butterfly on there, okay? Now what I want to do, I want to um, get the image of the butterfly. I don't want to carbon the whole thing on there. See his wing, that's going to be the rainbow part of the butterfly. So what I want to do is just quickly carbon this out. So I'll have that exactly where it's going to go here. Then I'm going to wipe that with the, what do you call it, the retarder. With the retarder, and then I can put my rainbow colours in and mish and mash it and make it a damn happy party, because I'm happy anyway. So that's what we're going to do right there, okay? Get back in a minute. Okay, I've got it, the carbon tucked under there, and as you know, I use a red pen, so we can see roughly what you've traced on your picture. You can't see it in the camera here, but in real life, as the, all the honest men say, trust me, <laughs> you can see it. But anyway, I'm going to just do a rough outline of that wing, like so. Peel that back, and that's why we've taped that to the canvas, because it's always going to go back in the same spot. Now, you can see the carbon line, that's the outline for our wing that's going to be rainbow. So what I'm going to do is paint that white. I'm just going to wash my sponge because when I tape around that line that I made, I only use a sponge to put the paints in instead of a brush, it's easier. Alright, I've got some tape on the bottom of my palette there, ready to rock and roll. And I'm just going to start taping the outsides of this up, roughly. So as our paint won't go on the green. The good thing about the acrylics, we were able to dry all that so we can pull this manoeuvre off. Alright, I've got all the tape on there. I've got my white paint with the retarder in there. And I'm going to dab it on that area. most of it as a base. I'm going to use my student paint now because I'm running out to try and pick it up some more. That's it. Beautiful. Oh, lovely. Now it's a hot day. I just hope the weather's going to be kind enough to me to Okay, it's still wet. I'm going to mix up the other colours, the rainbow colours, and blend into that. Okay, well, I've got a red, a blue, a yellow, and a bit of an orange. So we're virtually. Put some of that there. Maybe over here somewhere. If I can blend it like so. I'm going to 
wash me sponge. Now I'll get some orange. is because the actual blacks that I'm going to put on it later is really going to bring it to life. I'm just sharpening up those Roughly all it looks like for now. Okay, what I'm going to do now is um, take the, the tape off here and which way do we go? This way. Like so. And then I'm going to blow dry that, okay? got my carbon paper under there, I've taped it back exactly, so this is going to line up those colours underneath, and I'm going to get my red pen, and I'm going to go over all this. Alright, all the carbon lines are on there, I don't know if you can see them, okay. And using this as a reference picture, if some of them are a bit hard to see, you keep your reference picture. Now we're going to get our black and bring that butterfly to life. Okay, I'm just going to get this, put this stem on there in, in two different green colours. The darker and the lighter, so just roughly. Now I'm just getting the first layer of the stem in, which is my darker green. It's not exact to the picture, but it's going to resemble the stem. And then I'll highlight that. And once I start using my blacks to the bottom of the bit, I'm sort of I'm trying to create blurry. Once I do the blacks for the um, butterfly outlay. We will um, detail little shadows in there with black. Now we want a bit of yellow green. It's on the picture, it's got some yellow green for the very tips. Oh, there happens to be a globby. 
いね。Show you a bit closer once I do a few of these bits in there. Because once again, once I get all bits of depth of black shadow around all these little bits of highlights here, it'll bring it to life. Just trying to highlight the yellow green with a bit more white in it to give it some, I don't know, lights over darks. Sort of see what I'm doing. Putting some blacks in here will really give it the, the depth we're looking for. Okay, and to finish the painting off, we're gonna get, our, get a smaller brush, one you can do detail with, get your reference picture, and we'll start. Where's his? He's sort of got a leg in there. Because where it's fine on the real picture, you want to try and make it fine in this piece as well. So I'll do a little bit of this now on the, where are we? I don't know if you can see yet, I need to. Getting there, getting there. What I'll do is I'll put all this black on, then I'll get back to you because it's incredibly tedious, but at the end of the work, it's worth it. Hmm. I'll give you a look at some more. As you can see, how tedious it is. Tedious, but easy. You can get an idea. I'll show you some more as I go. Okay, we've done all the black, a little bit of detail in here, and up the stalk of this looks like a um, a vegetable. <laughs> anyway, now what I want to do in the real picture, you can see there's some white on his legs, reflections and stuff. So I want to do something like that here. Now it's not white, it's dirty white, so I've got a bit of grey in it, because if I really want to put some highlight on this grey even, not that I will, but you can even go a step further with white. So I'm just watch, looking at that reference picture and getting some ideas on where to put all this stuff. Just so long as it resembles something of the sort of thing. I'll do that and then I'll get back to you. Alrighty, we're just about done. We've done all those white bits of highlights. And then because it was dirty white, I can top it up with some real white. And it's just going to give your painting a bit more of a wow factor if you really want to go to that extreme. I've just done some bits in here like highlighting it. Do a little bit of furry beard that they usually have under here. They usually have a bit of a furry bit of nonsense under here. And 
deepen that in there. And this is virtually it. You can really muck around a bit more if you want. Well, that's pretty much all I'll do for this one. I've just signed it. And you can see what we get from it anyway. You don't have to use rainbow colours there. You can, like on the reference picture, you can use like a gold blend or any sort of colour. Okay, hope you like my video. Good easy project to do. Goodbye, good luck. Good on you from Ian Harris, Australia, down under.